If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. We now discuss the solution of a problem from the section Real Analysis. This problem has, a, has appeared in the CSIR National Eligibility Test held in December 2023. The problem is related to the partitions of the set of integers Z. This question is from part C. It is a multiple select question. There can be more than one answer. It carries 4.75 marks. And the question ID is 704061. The given problem is let a n n greater than or equal to 1 be a collection of non-empty subsets of z such that a n intersection a m is equal to is phi the empty set for m not equal to n if z is equal to the union of a n where the union runs on n greater than or equal to 1 then which of the following are necessarily true and we are given a collection of non-empty subsets a n n greater than or equal to 1 these are the subsets of the set of integers such that any two sets two distinct sets there is nothing in common that is a n intersection a m is empty for m not equal to n and z is the union of all these a n in in other words that a n n greater than or equal to 1 is a partition of z then which of the following are necessarily true we are given four options option 1 a n is finite for every integer n greater than or equal to 1 option 2 a n is finite for some integer n greater than or equal to 1 option 3 a n is infinite for some integer n greater than or equal to 1 option 4 a n is countable in brackets finite or infinite for every integer n greater than or equal to 1. That's the problem. So, out of these four options, which of them are necessarily true? That is the question. Let's now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. We have a n, n greater than or equal to 1, be a collection of non-empty subsets of z such that a n intersection a m is empty for m not equal to n and z is the union of a n n grid where the union is taken over n greater than or equal to 1. Now we see these four options. For me the fourth option is always true, is necessarily true. How? So, we will consider option 4. It says, a n is countable, finite or infinite, for every integer n greater than or equal to 1. Now, ask the question, who are a n's? A n's are non-empty subsets of z. And who is z? z is a countable set. So, and we know, we know every non-empty subset of a countable set is either finite or countable or countable. So, these ANs are subsets of Z and Z is countable. Therefore, a, a n, each AN, N greater than equal to 1 is 
either finite or countable for every n greater than or equal to 1. So, each a n is a non-empty subset of z and z is countable. We know that each non-empty subset of a countable set is either finite or countable. That means your option 4 is true. Therefore, a n is either finite or countable for every integer n greater than or equal to 1. So, the option 4 is true. Now, let us move to the discussion of the other options in the next slide. Right, we have a n is a partition of z. Right. Option 1. A n is finite for every integer n greater than or equal to 1. So that means in every partition you will find you, 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 will, you will find each a n is finite for every integer n greater than or equal to 1. That means in this partition each every a n is finite. That means a n, each a n is a finite subset of z. Is it so? If it is, if it is not, you show a partition, a partition in which a n is not finite, is not finite. That means it is infinite for some n greater than or equal to 1. So, for that uh, define a1 is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. Right. That means it is an infinite subset. An is equal to the set consisting of minus of n minus 1, singleton set. Singleton set consisting of minus n minus 1. n is equal to 2, 3, so on and so forth. A1 is as it is. A2 is singleton minus 1. A3 is singleton minus 2, A4 is singleton minus 3, A5 is singleton minus 4, etc. So, each is not empty and they are pairwise disjoint. The union is the whole of Z. But, is it, is A n is finite for every n greater than or equal to 1? No. So, A n is finite for every n greater than or equal to 2 is it is correct but a1 is infinite but a1 is infinite we see that each a n is not empty and they are pairwise disjoint and their union is the whole of the j observe that each a n n greater than or equal to 2 is finite but a1 is infinite therefore Therefore, a n is finite for every integer n greater than or equal to 1 is not true. Thus, the option 1 is not true. Right. So far, option 4 is true. Now, let us move to the next option, option 3. a n is infinite for some integer n greater than or equal to 1. So, now get me a partition in which every, every a n is finite. There is no infinite set at all. Suppose you bring such an example of a partition, then option 3 is not true. Define a n is equal to the singleton set minus of n minus 1 by 2 when n is odd and a n is the singleton set consisting of n by 2 if n is even. Right? Right? So, now you will have a 1. 1 is odd. So, minus 1 minus 1 by 2, 0. a 2, 2 is even, 2 by 2, the singleton, 1. a 3, 3 is odd minus 3 minus 1 by 2 
that is minus 1, n is 4, n is 4, 4 is even, single term 4 by 2, that is 2, and a5, a6, so on, so forth. So, each is not empty, and they are pairwise disjoint, and their union is the whole of the z. Therefore, it forms a partition where every a n is finite and you do not find any a n which is infinite in this partition. Therefore, our option 3 is not true. So that is the status for option 3. So far, option 4 is only true. We go to the last option left over, that is 2, option 2. A n is finite for some integer n greater than or equal to 1. If this, this can be, see, it may not, it, if, if it is not true, if it is not true, then you have to show an example where every a n is infinite. Right. For this, we have constructed like this. a1 is minus n, n belongs to n, union the singleton 0. That means it is the set consisting of all negative integers and 0. And a2 is the set of all 2n minus 1, n belongs to n. That means the set of all odd positive integers 1, 3, 5, 7 and uh, a, it is defined further a 2 plus k is equal to 2 power k a 2 k takes the values 1, 2, 3 and uh, now I will tell you what happens when k is equal to 1 then you will get a 3 is equal to 2 into a 2 so a3 is 2 into a2. That means 2 into a2 means 1, 3, 5, 7. 2 into 1, 2, 2, 3 is 6, 2, 5 is 10, 2, 7 is 14. And k is equal to 2. a4, a2 plus 2, a4 is equal to 2 square a2. That is 4 a2. So 4 a2 is 4 4 3 is 12, 4 5 is 20, 4 7 is 28. And k is equal to 3, a 5. a 5 is 2 cube into a 2, that is 8 times, 8 1s are 8, 8 3 is 24, 8 5 is 40, 8 7 is 56, so on so forth. Continue like this and find out now a n, n greater than or equal to 1, each 1 is an infinite set. It, which is non-empty and they are pairwise disjoint and the reunion is whole of the jet. So thus this is a partition that is this is a partition and in which every a n is infinite. There is no finite set in, in these a n at all. So a n is finite for some integer n greater than or equal to 1 is not true. Thus, the option 2 is not true. Not true. And uh, getting such an example is very difficult. But somehow we could catch hold of such an example. So that, so the answer to this question is option 4. And that is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem. It is definitely a good question. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.